All right, we're about 70 feet up in the top of this tree. Right here, you can see where it splits. It looked kind of rough, so we decided to band this tree. We're gonna use the Cobra cabling system, and you can check it out right here. This cabling system is really ideal because not only can you uh, set it up pretty simply, way better than a couple of the other systems, but you can move it up higher should you need to or take it out of this tree and put it in a different situation. So you're not wasting your material. This stuff lasts forever, but you can see what I've done here. I've strapped it up with enough space for it to move and the wind just kicked up to kind of give you an idea of how much it's moving. We'll see if the wind will blow enough to move it apart at all. Well, there's a little bit, come on wind. Come on, baby. So all I'm trying to point out is you want a little bit of slack. So there's actually enough slack in this that this tree can move. I would probably move about 18 inches to two feet at this point. And that's, that's enough before it starts to stop itself. So it can move quite a bit before it stops itself. So you want some slack in your cable. And that way, here it goes. Looks like it's moving a little bit. I can feel it moving, but you can't see it moving much. Anyway, here it goes a little bit right there. It's, it's bowing out just a little bit. Anyway, you wanna make sure you have some slack in it, but I love this cabling system, it's one of my favorites. Here's a little quick tip that I like to do. Wrap all the way up the tip with duct tape, and then if you need to, you can just twist it off, and just twisting it, it'll pop off, but it makes it like a thimble, so you can run it through your ropes really easy without the little edges catching on everything. So check that out, see if it works for you, and we'll check in next time.